Okay, hello. Um, I think you can hear me. Yeah. Um, okay, let me actually get the microphone a little bit closer and onto my voice. Okay, so yeah, this is better, I guess. So again, hello everyone. Um, Ming Hikari is here, and I know that I am now twelve minutes late into the stream. It's just because I'm still trying to in um experience with multiple setup with OBS and completely forgot to revert back to the stream setup so that is the main reason why I am a little bit late today okay um, okay what can I say more about today well it's not much because um, the blog is actually looks much better now um, Especially when I have a more proper solution for the anime watch plan, the session on the um, on the bottom left of the block there, um, I actually have a better and more accurate um, implementation for that. So the site is actually much faster than it used to be. So that's good, and actually that's my fault. Yeah, that's w the reason why the chat was too slow is because of my fault implementing that um, part incorrectly. Okay, um, that's all I guess. So let's, I think let's just basically today, as you already see um, in on the title there, I will try. I already nearly finished with my second post on the blog, so I will take the time today to also complete it. And then we will try to go with some internal tools. Like we will create at least one internal tool so it can ease up my process of creating a new post for my blog. And I think that's all. Um, otherwise, I think that's not much. We are, I would say that we are nearly, nearly done with the first project right now, which means I should begin to find something else to do if I really, really want to keep this um, stream continue to going. So if you actually have a good idea about what can I do, like another Is It Friday um, website for or something small like that then um, tell me I will um, try to look at it and um, do some more coding and like I mentioned the, ma the main reason why I want to open this stream is just because I actually have a bigger project that I haven't have much time to look at um, unfortunately but soon I hope it it will be soon um, within this year at least um, after I finish moving on of my workplace from down here up to the first floor after and then uh, we can do a little bit more about that later on okay I think that's pretty much it um, I will not talk too much also because um, I think that this is the type of content I like to do. So um, yeah, um, I will still try to in interact with you if uh, there is anything coming up on the screen. So let's get started, I guess. Mm, hold on a second. Yeah, there you go, a new keyboard. Okay, it's actually not new. Um, it is my first keyboard that I custom, and this is the RK100, the Royal Clutch RK100, and this is actually my first custom keyboard. And, it's, um, and this is the keyboard that I'm currently use on my company. Um, this morning I bring the Sinmang S98. Um, um, to the company so I do swap with with this keyboard so we have more flavors in the stream um, 
I actually have some more that some more keyboard that I think I can use, but um, I will need to work with them a little bit more before I can actually use them. Okay, let's come back to where we at, and let's chill, guys. Okay, you know what? I speak for a while and realize that my microphone is still muted. <laughs> so yeah, what I just said is um, I only have two more paragraphs and one thumbnail to make for the post. And I really hope that I will finish them within the stream. So stay tuned for that. Um, I will immediately jump into the internal tools of internal tools but support two layers after I completed with the thing and it seems that this is this did not want to, oh my okay the color is out of it It's actually much better now. Nice.
Okay, so I already completed the second post for my blog. I will share the link on to my Facebook later on. It is now currently being deployed by GitHub Action, the flow that I already set up. So let's wait and do the final test for that before we jump into App Smith to create our internal tools. Not internal tools, but support tools that should ease my um, effort in creating those parts especially with the entry for anime for TV series and things that I am currently thinking about What do you think? I think I will grab a little bit water. Be right back. I'm back now. And it seems that the deployment is done. So let me refresh the page. And hooray, we have the second post up and online. Quite good, right? One post only. Beautiful. And if I go like this, you should see that the image is now a little bit smaller. So it will not be too big when you read the post on the form. Yeah. Let me actually share this one on my Facebook really quickly because there is something that because there is one thing that I want to look at. Um, yeah, I am currently live live um, at the same time on Facebook right now. It should.
Oh yeah, it is. It seems it worked correctly. Okay, that looks pretty good, especially with the thumbnail. The thumbnail is now being shown correctly. So that's good. Alright. Now, <sighs> internal tools are support tools. Okay. Um, will this is a thing? I don't think it will be because um, I'm I want to render everything on server. So basically, um, that will need to go. So I don't think we need to do that anymore. Now we come to the final task: um, creating some little utils that I can use for generating the anime entry. That. Uh, let me actually open the blog really quick and show you what I mean. Not local host though. Not local host though. This one right here. Yes, you will see that you have those type of components, right? So this is one entry and when i write um this post i actually writing all of those by hand so that means manually by hands okay my english still really bad by the ah uh, anyway let me actually change to main branch now and um, yeah cancel you and hit cool so if you are looking at like this post for now, you will see that all of those. So the t so this TV entry things, um, name and images, the studios, the genres that I'm currently having here, I am writing that all by hand. That means if I come back to the wrap up and I want to add some score inside it, I actually need to write more inside here, as you can see. Um, so I actually want to try to find a way to tackle this by creating some internal tools again not internal tools but some support tools that can help me generating those entry so I just need to give it the ID of the anime I believe and then it will give me back those things that's all and i think that is the only tools that i need for now um i actually have a small python strip but um i haven't added that strip so it will return something like this but since we're already here um i think that let's make the tools a little bit more easy to use and more easy for me to just copy and paste thing the whole thing here to the post if I need to and so that means I will create some UI for the tools the thing is yeah I can actually write a tool inside here also but I want to explore a little more options because if there is something that can get me like creating a form by um, drag, drag and drop and then just integrating easily with the API of my anime list or the Chican anime API then and I can just use that instead and I think I actually found some candidate 
the thing that I want to try is apps made. Apps made and what I'm typing here. Okay, so apps made. This is just for building an internal tools that um, I think uh, I just think I can use. Right. So let me actually sign not signing up because i already have an account that i already <laughs> created so let's use that account and also here that you can see that i already have created an application so that's good um my only thing is can I make this a little bit like dark theme or something because this theme this lighting is killing me right now oh I think no okay let me actually try to uh, reduce yes should look a little bit better okay let's edit this so basically I have this form right here and I, and, and I don't know why it jumped up to it like this but basically um, yeah and I'm just mostly uh, still trying to play around with the tool so uh, please forgive me if anything happened in the process okay come on I'll keep it like that so I have um, just something to input the my animated my animated list link or the ID of the anime from my anime list here and then I can can or uh, yeah I have the ability to provide my personal store here also so if I provide my personal score, it will return the number of ratings and the score on my anime list also. If I'm not saying anything here, then it will only return me the name, the studios, and the genre. That's all. If I get the personal score inside here too, then I should get something similar to this one. Right here. Um, actually more than more like this one okay so we actually have an, an, another session from the score there all right so um, and I'm still pretty much work, working on that so let me actually edit this name anime entry anime entry generator yes is now done okay so I have the forms already. Again, the tools. Okay, so this is the UI. Now I actually want to have like how can I say this? Um, a cult. Oh, I don't know what can I do, but let's see. I actually want to have like something that I can put some text inside so uh, let's just get the rich text editor in I don't know if this will absolutely work but <sighs> normally it should not right um, hold on did it Um, I actually want to have code editor. Do we have to make code? No, this is a step. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Um, we have quite many things that I can look at. Um, not an iframe. What is this text box? I don't know. Okay, let's just get a rich text editor. Wait, hold on. How about a text? area I think request edit editor is our choice there I hope that will also work well right so if I apply this now um, you will see that I have just have a label here and we have actually have just content 
side so I can just get it all the way down here like this so the label here I don't think I need the label right so I can actually remove that which means this one can be a little bit higher okay so this is the initial content I need to get the content like an idea or something um, what is the name of the content generated for like this then I put things inside here then click this and then click submit or uh, then I should have this um, the code in check inside here all oh, right that is the main goal right now I believe I need to create a queries and I actually want to have like a REST API so what is updated okay she can API and the reason I use this is because I this API can be used publicly without um, without the needs to generate like an API key or something so basically yeah I will get that I, I will take that as a convenient thing okay so I have to get anime by ID and I actually get something else to get anime full by ID Holy cow, this is fun, this is so fun, okay. Yeah, let's try to call this one. Um, try to find an I an anime ID from my anime list and try with the API I will always come back to some so no free ride because the anime just generally good generally a good one 9.38 which is a very high score all right so i can just run this and it should return me a big data as you can see down here just need to slash full and it should get me a bigger one right now as you can see a bigger project um a bigger um yeah it is actually a bigger response right now that looks pretty good
actually have a large image URL or web key or something like that. If I do this and what I really just how about this one? Wow, what am I doing? Okay, fine. Um, so that's that. We have an API. Now we have a UI or something like that. Um, let's go to let's delete this, and I want to get the submit button here. So this is the bottom one. I want to rename it. Let's. Um, um, generate um, entry okay and change the submit to the function uh, um, the, the label of it is generate okay so now go here I want to have like the style is already a good one what how can I create like this is the content I know um okay I know that um the thing is I actually want to have like an object no delete there should be a thing for me to like the event or something like that right um, oh on click she like action wait hold on um, can I delete this? Okay. This is a basic with the labels. Okay. Um. This is out to height. No. Okay. This one. Um. This is on click, and I want to execute a chess function. Try it out. Yes. Um, the code here will be alert this works alert is not defined okay um, so dot lock hello did not return any data. Did you add a return statement? I have no idea. Then I can feel something here and click generate. We have the logs. Um, hello, it is currently demo. Let me can clear that. Click on generate. Uh, no, please don't. So if I click this one. Yes, if I click this one and go to the console here, I should see Hello, yeah, we have a console up here Now, I actually want to make a request using this query I want to make a request Okay I want to make a query, so how can I do that? Um, how can I do that?
we have the data we have everything you need here so this seems to work this seems to work correctly um, I have all of the function that I want to have here all right um, I know it's already 10 but um, I will come back later on when after I pray with the company uh, with my family sorry so it will talk a little bit like 30 minutes so um, yeah let's just uh, yeah I will um, left you with um, the screen like when I start right now um, and I will come back later on and we will continue to play with this one right here so the goal is I want to change the rating um, uh, an entry and print it here and then later on we will try to make more of the variant of the anime entry that we want to generate yes I think that's all enough so yeah I will um, play around with this a little bit later on and I will absolutely loop you in also on the stream so I will not stop the stream now just stay there and see why I am um, playing with my um, um, with my family okay so yeah um, we will continue until 11 for your information
Oh, hello, I'm back. Actually, it's actually better to return to a room since it is much cooler inside here. All right, let me get back to what we are currently doing. And we will go up to 11, so 30 minutes left. Good to me. Just like me going around to explore the tools, and App Smith is actually one of the tools that I'm currently trying now. Um, there is actually more things, and Retool is also one of the tools that I can actually uh, use for making the making the tools. Maybe let's go. Let's see with the pricing. Actually, have all unlimited. Okay, you know what? Let me actually um, lock in um, to retool. Actually, not lock in, but register to retool. So, just to make sure I will blur my screen. So, if I accidentally have something um, leak.
so this is the main sliding bar right? so let's go to the control I know this is the API right um, let's go add and I want to add something inside here so let's actually add a container first
can return the JavaScript but before that we can actually go with the generator and to review dot plus equal result dot data
So I think I will try to look at um, the document of App Smith a little bit more to see how to do a certain feature, how to do a certain functionality, and then we'll come back and we will try to finish in the next one or two stream. Okay, I think I will leave you for today with a new post app on the side. Which is already available right now in Vietnamese. I will translate them into English later on and um, getting the English side up correctly. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you very much for um, sticking with me if you are still there. I hope you have a good night or, if, or have a nice day um, wherever you are. Bye. Thank you.